The National Stock Exchange of India has been actively involved with initiatives to educate the young generation of our country on the importance of financial management. One such initiative is NSE Finwiz that focuses on educating and advising the young workforce of the country on wealth management to enhance financial literacy and to empower Insurance them. Insurance is for protection and investment is for growth. Another program facilitated by NSC IPFT is NSC Financial Quest. This inter-school financial quiz contest goes an extra mile by educating the young students on fundamentals of finance. On the buzzer, what is this? It is the formula for the simple interest. Simple interest is the right answer. Under the NSC Financial Quest Base Camps banner, the program engages students around the year through workshops on various topics, projects, interactive videos and quizzes. DiCaprio is bouncing checks of Pan Am. Plus 75 Atar. Plus 75. To facilitate these two programs, NSC along with CNBC TV18 has travelled across the country to bridge the wide knowledge gap in terms of finance. In this episode of NSC Finwiz, we are all set to achieve our objectives once again by gauging young professionals in a new city. Hello and welcome to Season 4 of NSC Finwiz powered by CNBC TV 18 and I'm your host Nitya Balakrishnan. Today my team and I are in the city of idlis, dosas and piping hot filter coffee inside the campuses of the country's second largest commercial vehicle manufacturer, a brand that symbolizes the undying spirit of Chennai, Ashok Leyland. Ashok Leyland is an Indian automobile manufacturing company headquartered in Chennai. The company is the largest manufacturer of commercial vehicles in India and the fourth largest manufacturer of buses in the world. They also have the largest fleet of logistics vehicles deployed in the Indian Army. NSC Finwiz visited the headquarters of Ashok Leyland in Chennai with the experts to understand the employees' views on financial planning and wealth management with the theme, Dreams Come True. So financial management will help me understand, one is prioritize what my savings are, first is visualize how much my savings are and ultimately because of, uh, if I have to visualize how much my savings are, how much should my expenses and how much should my expenditures be. Uh, I'm a very straightforward investor. Most of my investments are in real estate and uh, bank FDs. My investment basically on the medium and the long term. Uh, I invested on the mutual funds for my children's education as well as I've invested on the retirement uh, fund. Hello and welcome to season 4 of NSE Finwiz powered by CNBC TV 18 and I'm your host Nitya Balakrishnan. We're in Chennai and I'm joined by two very special guests on this episode of NSE Finwiz, Kalpesh Ashar and Harsh Rungta. Thank you so much for joining us today and to everybody here at Ashok Leyland, thanks for taking time off and being part of this evening. My first question to you Harsh is when you talk about wealth creation, when you talk about multiplying your money, what do you think are three essential tools for the smart investor? You need to make sure that whatever is your wealth creation journey, okay, if something happens to you during that journey, you need to make sure that you are adequately uh, provisioned for that. So I think that's number mm -hmm. one uh, strategy. The number two strategy is you need to start early. And I think the third thing would be keep your expectations realistic and be patient. There is no known way by which you can make money quickly. It does not exist. Irrespective of advertisements that you might see, irrespective of what your friendly uh, neighborhood uh, person might tell you, mm -hmm. there is really no get rich quick scheme. So start early, keep your real expectations realistic, be consistent. I think if you do these three things, mm -hmm. I think most people will be able to create wealth for themselves. Absolutely. In fact, Kalpesh, when you talk about saving and investing in India, the traditional norms seem to come first to mind to every average Indian. We talk about, you know, a fixed deposit, you talk about the savings deposit, PPF, but also tell us other than this and real estate and gold, what are the other, you know, investments that one can actually park funds in on a fairly regular basis? So adding on to what uh, Harsh mentioned, the three very poignant points. First, I would like to add 
one more important point to that is awareness mm -hmm. and uh, we are all you know living in a world where we are so busy with our either with our personal lives and more so with our professional lives and we really have no time to be financially aware because we don't have a direction to where our earnings are going nor are we trying to actually enhance them also mm -hmm. and all that boils down to awareness so that links to what uh, your question Nitya is that we have always been brought up on culture of either very uh, conservative investments that you have your bank FDs to park or if you want to have surplus money you can have real estate or if you want to not take a risk then you can invest in gold but now the world has changed and it's changed rapidly equity have formed a very important part of India's growth story and each one of us is a participant to that growth story mm -hmm. and equity is not a simple game to play and equity you need to understand that you are actually being a part of the growth story of a company mm. now if you do not know what that company is doing then you need to be sitting on the sidelines but yet be a participant into it so the answer to that is a mutual fund because the mutual fund route will help you participate in equities although mutual funds are varied they are into fixed income uh, real estate gold, gold. Mm -hmm. everywhere but we are talking about equities as the most important and the most simplest way to get onto the journey of wealth creation which Harsh was mentioning earlier absolutely in fact if I can just get a quick show of hands how many of us set aside an X amount every month towards regular investment how much of this is invested in uh, you know equity markets via mutual funds or even directly in fact when you talk about managing your portfolio harsh what do you think are essential elements do you think x amount exposure should be towards the equity markets would you re recommend a certain part of one's portfolio also has real estate gold etc because whether you like it or not inherent to every indian is this need or belief of owning your own house uh so I, I have a slightly different view I think the house that you stay in mm -hmm. is is not really an investment I think most people when we ask whether they have done real estate investment they put their hand up because they have invested they have bought a house in which they stay the house that you stay in is at least uh, we don't count it as an investment mm -hmm. only if you have something else as a real estate I think that's what counts as an investment so that is the point about real estate the other thing that uh, she mentioned was people frequently want to be the smartest investor around mm -hmm. the first question that people ask me is okay which share should I invest in mm -hmm. which scheme so since we Absolutely. don't you know which is the scheme. best possible scheme okay which mutual fund scheme is the best I think this quest for the best possible investment make sure that you will never make money study after study shows that money is made not by investing in the best investment money is made by deciding how much of your investment goes into what kind of uh, asset class by asset class we mean what kind of investment, investment. so equities is one kind of investment debt like fixed deposits or debt mutual funds is another kind of investments real estate land or a flat that you don't stay in that's another kind of investment gold I think that could be the four typical uh, investments for most lay people fair enough Kalpesh now if I can ask you to throw the spotlight on the equity markets there is a sense of volatility actually playing spoiled sport how do you think a first time entrant should go in and uh, you know invest in the equity markets see one thing is a given that uh, if you wish to enter into equity markets make volatility your friend mm -hmm. so if volatility is going to be there then you have to have the stomach to digest it because it is this volatility over a period of time which will probably you know be uh, quite nullified and if time is on your side then you will reap the returns over that period of time so first of all understand that volatility is going to be there and if you have time on your side and I'm being very specific on time do not invest in equities if your time horizon is anything below three to five years 
On this note, it's time to slip into a quick breather right here on NSE Finviz. But stay tuned. A whole host of answers on life insurance, medical insurance and what's the best policy out there for you on the other side.